Hey everybody, Bahush here speaking for photodeoxpro.com and I want to show you my latest crazy lens discovery. Actually, Sean found this at an antique store, but I'm the one who got suckered into paying for it. It is this, and I would love to tell you what this mystery lens is, but it is exactly that, a mystery. This lens is actually homemade. Actually, all of this is homemade, uh, except the Sony camera on the back. But uh, it's this honking big tube. There's a single lens on the end. There are no lens elements. There's no focusing. There's no aperture. It's just a lens glued in the end. I don't know if it's a magnifying glass or a telescope lens. The thread is on the outside, uh, so I can't really use any, uh, any filters that I've got laying around. Um, then it's on this rifle kind of mount, which we've seen before. Actually, uh, wildlife photographers would sometimes use these, these sorts of mounts with extreme, uh, extremely long lenses so you can be really far away from the lion and stuff so you don't get eaten, you know, 500 millimeter, 1000 millimeter lenses or whatever. You got this kind of rifle stock thing. A famous one is the Novoflex, which actually had both shutter control on the trigger and uh, also a squeezing control so you could do focus and stuff. This doesn't have any of that. It does have a sort of homebrew shutter mechanism that this button works, a, uh, an old style spring shutter release, but on a digital camera it doesn't do very much, so I just sort of tuck it out of the way. But uh, the way you focus is you physically move the lens closer to and further away from the camera uh, using this focusing bellows mechanism. So when I got the camera, it looked like this. An old Sears camera mounted on the back, a bunch of paint all over the thing, uh, I think to block out light leaks. So basically we cracked the old camera off. And then the rear thread was a Miranda thread. And at Photodeox we have a Sony E-mount to Miranda thread adapter, which uh, you can't see because it's covered with gaffer tape. Because the, uh, the threads that were on the Miranda side of things were so thick with paint and junk, I couldn't quite get the, the camera to tighten on and be level so it's not tightened on all the way I'm just using some gaffer tape to hold it together I'll probably buff out some of that crap out of the threads later but main thing is we've got a system that works here so I'm gonna run around and take some pictures and some video with this specifically and uh, let's see what we get Because this lens is so simple and doesn't have an aperture control, the way I'm controlling exposure is by messing with shutter speed and the ISO. Uh, ideally, I'd have some filters I could put on the end. Again, I haven't really quite devised how to do that yet. Um, and really, messing with shutter speed is not ideal for video because you can get strobed motion and things like that. But for right now, because I'm in experimental mode, I think it's fine. So for me, this is a weird fit because I sort of have to crane my neck I mean, it would be great to have like a monitor right here or something like that. But still, not impossible, not impossible. Of course, because we're magnified so far, it is um, exacerbating kind of the rolling shutter. I mean, the rifle stock does help a bit, but, uh, but man, I want, I want a tripod. Now you may have felt a sense of alarm seeing this very gun-shaped camera, and you're probably right. Uh, so you want to be careful where you're shooting with, oh shooting, where you're filming with something like this. And uh, we did look it up on the web, and yeah, TSA does not allow you to travel with guns shaped, guns, with cameras shaped like guns anymore. So uh, make your plans early. So surprisingly, this worked, even though the lens is so damn simple. Uh, like I said, there's just nothing going on in here. It's just a tube with a single lens on the end. And yet, it gave me kind of a cool picture. Uh, I really loved the shallow depth of field that I got with this crazy setup. And yes, having the rifle butt kind of arrangement does help you steady a really long lens like this. Um, now I couldn't trip the shutter of the camera with this trigger obviously. I guess I could put like a little Bluetooth button on here or something that would take you know still shots with the Sony camera. But for shooting video where I can just turn it on and let it run, it was awesome. I actually got some really fun stuff. So it is worth experimenting with the kooky junk that you find at your local antique store, especially when you can just get a simple lens adapter to make it possible to hook up this crazy homebrew system 
to a modern camera like my Sony right here. So if you want to learn more about all the adapters that we offer, click on the link down below this video. You can see all of the, I think, 700 adapters that we offer. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe to get more nutty experiment videos just like this one. My name is Bahush. Thanks for watching.